And this, basically, this would be being married, and this would be single on this side. Okay, that's how you work it up. So even though we're going to use Andrew as a model, we're going to think about this as a group and a consensus as well. <coughs> okay, so Andrew, how much intensity of pleasure do you expect to get out of marriage on a scale of 1 to 10? <laughs> Oh, right. We're going to have to do two lists because this is going to be skewed. I'm going to put Andrews here in the middle, and then we're going to do the classes on the outside. How many of you think marriage is a tenth worth of pleasure and happiness and goodness? Nine? Eight? Seven? Six? Five? How are you sure? This is like a marriage crowd. Okay. And Andrew. How much pleasure do you have at this moment being single on a scale of 1 to 10? Uh, I'm a little bit biased because of my expectation. It's all right. Um, like this allows you to have bias. Bias is fine in this theory. Uh, like a four and three quarters. <laughs> okay. And class, how happy are you being single? Ten, nine, eight. Seven, six, five. How long do you expect your marriage to last? Forever? Like a ten out of ten? For real? And um, your singleness? How old are you right now? Twenty-two. 22, so about a third of your life's been single, so I'll give that a three, because your singleness is about to end and you don't plan on being single again. Fascinating. And realistically, we know, though, that over half of marriages end in divorce, so duration has to be below a five. Many people marry again, though. And then second marriages are more likely to get divorced, so it's probably going to be less than a four. Uh, and so I think four would probably be a gracious number there. Um, duration of being single? How long could you be single? Until you get married, right? <laughs> How many of you are planning on getting married? So your your singleness doesn't sound like it's gonna last very long. Although if you get divorced right away, then you can be single again. <laughs> Give me a percentage of how much of your life you think you're going to. Let's do it that way. If ten is a hundred percent of your life you're gonna stay single, and then five is fifty percent of your life you're gonna be single, down like that. Let's go off. Let's do a high in life expectancy, maybe like 80 years, all right? Because the technology is getting good. You guys might be around a little bit longer. 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 5, 4, 3. Tell me you guys are ridiculous. <laughs> How certain are you of your upcoming marriage? <laughs> <laughs> okay. <laughs> and so your certainty of, let's see how would I work this, the con of marriage, um, I guess would be how certain would you be that you're not going to get married, but that would just be a zero, I guess, in that case. How about the rest of you, how certain... Of you, are you of your marriage or your happiness in marriage? I guess the question should have been more how certain will you be that you'll be happy in your marriage? Mm -hmm. Do you still want to say 10? You might as well. Mm -hmm. <laughs> right. How about the rest of you? Or do you have like some nagging little suspicion like, how can 50% of people get divorced and I not be one of them? 
or is that just other people? Not, it would never happen to you. So, how certain are you of your pleasure in marriage class? 10, 9, 8, 7, 6, 7, <laughs> That's a nice and honest answer, I think. I mean, it's hopeful, but it's realistic. <laughs> How certain of, are, you, are you of your pleasure being single? It kind of would be based on how happy you are right now, I suppose, and projecting that into the future. So how happy are you now being single? Ten? Nine? Eight? Seven? This is so sad. Six? <laughs> five? Four? Okay, maybe you guys didn't hear the question. How happy are you right now being single? Oh. Ten, nine, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. A lot of you aren't voting. You're going to skew the results. Well, no wonder you guys are getting married. You're so unhappy. It's like a sea of happiness. How near is your marriage, Andrew? Oh, that's pretty near. It's not tomorrow, so I'll give you a nine. <laughs> How near is your singleness? That's right. It's happening. How about the rest of you? How many of you plan on being married in the next five years? <laughs> How many of you don't plan on being married until 10 years from now? No. How many of you are single right now? Only eight of you are single right now? Hello? How many are single? Are we ta talking just about marriage? Right now, are you single? How many more like pleasures do you expect? For marriage. In other words, um, children, getting to join the young married class at church, <laughs> going to have holidays with the in laws, family vacations, <coughs> poopy diapers, stuff like that. Woo. Will it produce more pleasures? <laughs> How about being single? Is that going to produce any more like pleasures? The pleasures that come with singleness, freedom, lack of responsibility, not having to tell someone where you're going. Not any one of those things. How much are you experiencing now? Would that go back up? Oh, yeah. Because that's like halfway to being married, right? How, I guess the question is, if you stayed single, how many pleasures would follow from your singleness? Since we're trying to determine whether or not you should get married. <laughs> It's probably good you're getting married. <laughs> Class, how many more like pleasures come from marriage? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. And from being single? Ten, nine, eight, seven, six. How free from pain do you expect your marriage to be? <laughs> She'll never see this video. <laughs> um, <laughs>